Why can't you just focus more? Get it together. I don't know. I just I lose motivation. You're letting yourself down. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about how to self-study technical things. I remember that feeling of being so excited to learn something new, getting all amped up, starting, I either bought a course or just took a free course and I was all pumped. I told all my friends, all my family, this is what I'm taking and I am going to be an expert in it, whether it be SQL or React or Vue or anything technical. I used to get so excited about learning this technical skill would tell everyone around me, only to, after a few weeks, really have that motivation be gone. And I wanna to talk to you today about why that is, why we get so excited to learn something new, have all this energy and motivation, and where does it go? Oftentimes, more than not, when we are studying something technical, that motivation or that drive, as we get into it, it disappears. Before we get into it though, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Shout out to some of these subscribers here. Thank you for your questions, comments, feedback, just all of your love. You all are amazing. Okay, let's get into it. I've made a video similar on how to study technical things, so I really wanted to, in this video, break it down by a framework that I live by. As someone who really doesn't believe, I really truly believe that motivation is a myth. It's going to come at times, and then it's also as quickly going to disappear. You need more than motivation to carry you through when you are studying something technical. Technical or even non-technical, but technical I think for sure, because it sometimes, let's be honest, gets a little dry. One of my biggest pieces of advice before we really get into the framework though, talking about motivation, is rather than focusing on having motivation and wondering where it goes, focus on discipline. Something I always do, and I think I've shared with some of you before, is I think about my future self. Where is my future, where's future Tiff at? And what I mean by that is thinking about doing favors for my future self really helps if you want to say motivate if you want to say make me discipline to do the work today knowing that my future self will thank me for it at the end of the day we need more than just motivation to carry us through when we are learning something technical especially if you are self-learning on your own there are going to be days where it's the last thing you want to continue with and although in your heart of hearts you know it's what you want to do it's just you can't bring yourself to open up your computer and start studying Okay, and that brings me to, let's talk a little bit about my learning framework. This is something that I really developed not intentionally, and it was just because through so much trial and error of learning and failing and learning and failing, I felt like I needed something to kind of standardize the way I learn. Now, let's say everyone is very unique and different into how they learn, so what works for me might not work for you, but I hope you can find some inspiration and um, some kind of value in my learning framework. The first thing I do in my learning framework is learn just enough. What I mean by that is when I'm learning something new, I don't go out or in with the expectation of becoming an expert once I am done initially learning it. Now, this might be, some of you might not agree with this because you think if you're learning something, you want to be an expert in it, and that's great. But when you are starting to learn something new, just have realistic expectations. Bring your expectations back down a little. I think a lot of times we think that if we are learning something new or learning, for example, mobile development in six months from now, we are going to be building the next social media app. We are going to be a billionaire and all this money is going to be raining down on us. Probably not. Realistically, when you are going into learning something new, have your expectations aligned accordingly. Have you, do you have previous technical experience? Are you just jumping in? And what that does is it really, you don't get disappointed or let down as you go. I get a lot of messages from people that say, I really want to learn this and I really want to grow in this area, but I just, I give up, I keep on giving up. And I think a lot of times it's because your expectations of where you should be at are not aligned with your reality. And that might be a harsh truth for some people out there, but at the end of the day, you really need to adjust your expectations based on your current skill level. If you are someone with no technical background and you are learning something new, be aware that even from six months from now, you are still going to be a newbie in that area. It takes time and there's no way around that time. So when I say learn just enough, what I'm really referring to is A, set your expectations accordingly, but also to learn just enough of what you need before you can start building, which brings me to my second point, build something. 
Simple as that. Once you've learned just enough, you feel like you have a significant or just enough, you guys, you could say, grasp on what you are learning, start building something. There is no better way to really apply and really enforce what you are learning than actually building something. Building something, and I also find teaching something. So if you are learning something new and you want to really see where your skills are at with it, try talking aloud, explaining it to someone. If you have no one to do that to, use the old, the classic rubber ducky method where you literally speak to an object, maybe a rubber ducky or something else. For building something, make sure you also build something small. For example, I remember when I was building my first app, which was a skincare app, I thought I was going to integrate it with all these different APIs. I thought there'd be this crazy search functionality, all these unique things to it. And then in turn, I failed because I had this way too big of a vision, way too grandiose of a plan to build something, and I really needed to scale back. The reality is everything we think is going, especially with technical things, the amount of time or effort we think it's going to take, double that, because it will, especially when you are learning something new. Gonna book. And that brings me to my third point, which is iterate. Go back to learning, build something. Go back to learning and build something else, or build, a pro build onto a project you are already building. Don't just try and learn X amount and then start building something. One of the best ways to keep on growing your skills while you are learning something is continuing to build on a project. Or if you're just building very, very small projects, continuing to build very small projects. There's no right or wrong way. It's really a personal preference. Along with iterate or a part of iterate also is explaining the topics you are learning using once again the rubber ducky method. Don't just do it the first time you are learning, but honestly continue to explain as you are learning. Actually, one of the reasons I started this YouTube channel, well, one of them was because A, I wanted to get people into technology, into coding, to inspire others to break into this industry, but also because I was learning. And I thought, wow, as I'm learning, why don't I share what I'm learning with you? And it was one of the best ways to really enhance my learning and see, okay, wait, I don't really know what this does, so before I carry on, let me make sure I know. Uh, because for those of you who are OG to this channel, it started as me teaching coding tutorials. I know a lot of you want me to get back to it, but it takes so much time, um, but it is coming in the future, I promise. Anyways, that's kind of like a side tangent there. But iterate, iterate, iterate. I feel like I'm, iterate by say I'm iterating by saying that over and over again. Okay, anyways. The fourth and last tip I want to talk to you about is to hold yourself accountable. As I spoke about earlier on in this video, motivation is a myth and it's going to come and go. So you cannot rely solely on your motivation. You need to have something else other than motivation to really keep you disciplined. And that is holding yourself accountable, whether it be through letting a friend or family member know what you are learning, whether it be even scheduling in learning sessions throughout your calendar, Either or, whatever it holds you accountable, you need to do. One of the biggest mistakes I see people do, whether it be for learning something technical, whether it be actually really any goal you are setting, is to announce it to the world too early on. What happens is when we tell everyone around us that, hey, I'm learning how to code, for example, then you all automatically get that praise from people. Wow, that's amazing, that's so great, congratulations, you're going to be amazing. And then what happens is your brain already gets rewarded for what you are about to learn, so the actual learning process, you don't really have that motivation or you've already got that reward. Versus if you keep it to yourself, maybe share it with one or two other people, then once you've already learned that skill and you are at a point where you need to be, share it with the world. Get that praise you really, whether you're looking for it or not, you're going to be receiving. Okay, those are my four tips, my top framework, I guess you could say. So it's learn just enough, build something, iterate, and hold yourself accountable. Also, I really hope you took away from this video that motivation is a myth. You need the discipline aspect. You need the holding yourself accountable aspect. I know you can do this. Whatever you are learning, you got this. Make sure to leave in the comments. I'm curious, what are you learning right now? Are you learning something new? If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone. Baby